Hi, my name is Violet Ann. I'm a museum guide at the Dayton Art Institute, and today we will explore together an art object that is both a painting and a sculpture. It is made with mixed media, which means several different materials were used to make it. Let's find what the artist, Mr. Thurman Staten, picked and assembled to complete it. What did your eyes see when you first saw the painting on your screen? For me, the bright colors caught my interest right away. And taking a closer look, we can see that the artist used both paint for the pictures of the clouds, the green hills, and colored pencils. There are marks in almost all the boxes. He also used glass. In fact, he used mainly two kinds, plate glass and blown glass. Plate glass, which looks like windows in a building, is for the boxes around the different parts. These fun shapes are blown glass, called that way because they are made by blowing in a tube to give a specific shape to the glass. Finally, the artist used found objects, named so because they are objects that were already made, found by the artist, and repurposed. Can you spot them? The butter dish and the electronic board are indeed 3D. So what did Thurman Staten mean to say with all the paintings and objects inside the glass boxes? Well, he himself was not sure. When he creates art, he likes to choose things that give him a special feeling at the time. For example, the painting of the Green Hills represents a place in Mozambique, Africa, where he taught an art class for children. He loves sharing his love of art with children and adults to help them discover that anyone can create something and how fantastic it feels. For the other parts of the piece, the artist wanted us to think about how it makes us feel because that's how everyone, young and old, can understand and enjoy art. Let's look again. What object brings you feelings of joy or comfort or sadness? For me, the teapot reminds me of a relaxed and slow-moving morning and makes me feel calm and warm inside. We have been doing some close looking, so now let's step back and look at the overall shape of the piece. Most art objects on the museum wall comes in a rectangular or square shape, but this one is oval. It reminds me of a mirror especially because there are mirrored pieces included in their work. So maybe what we see reflected in it is how Thurman Staden felt about 20 years ago when he made this art piece. What about you? What would you choose to put in your own oval mirror that would represent you? After you're done with this video, get a piece of paper and enjoy drawing the objects and colors that tell the world the way you feel right now. You can find Ovala Maria at the Dayton Art Institute in Gallery 201, the James F. Dickey Gallery of Contemporary Art. Thank you for discovering art with us.